Hello YouTube, Bowtide Media here, and today I have a review of Trampa's debut album, Disrespect. Going into the first listen of this project, I actually had no idea who Trampa was. I had merely seen this project was going to be coming out on Never Say Die, and I guess originally on the Black Label. He seemed to have been some moniker for the Black Label, been around for a long time. But now that's shut down, it's on the regular label, and uh, it seemed like a big news in the Never Say Die community, so I thought I would give this album a chance. Honestly, at first listen through, I thought it wasn't too bad, but as I started getting deeper and deeper into the track list, I just felt like the hard-hitting, in-your-face dubstep rhythm tracks just, uh, they weren't doing it for me in the end. I have honestly really tried hard to get into Never Say Die record stuff, to get into that hard-hitting rhythm, dubstep, noise, the bro step, the, like all the stuff that's just like, really violent and in your face and when your parents think about the uh the evilness of edm and the skrillex dubstep stuff like the, that kind of thing i just haven't really ever appreciated it that much i do listen to that kind of style of music from time to time and i think it definitely has a time and place especially at a club or festival setting something similar to that but the more i listen to this album the more i actually felt anxious and nervous just listening to the project but on the flip side of that, I actually found myself enjoying it a little more than I originally expected to. Because it's tracks like Disrespect, the first song, that come out of the gate just swinging hard that I can actually get behind. It sets a strong precedent for the album and what's to come and isn't going to be taken lightly by any means. Trappa with this track pretty much acknowledges that this whole album, this whole LP, this whole project is going to be gritty, it's going to go hard, and it's going to give you borderline tinnitus. Which brings up Generals, the next track, and uh, actually, this is my favorite from the album. So much so that I, like, actually really enjoyed this song. To me, it's a great example of that kind of wall of sound volume that I've been talking about, and also letting the listener kind of breathe for a second. It's this back and forth idea that I think Trampa plays really well off of on this song. Whereas the next track, Pull Up, isn't that for me. It's the same kind of idea, but it just doesn't quite go as well as I wanted it to. I ultimately found myself liking the songs on this project that were the less rhythm like. Songs like Signal and Back to Me had a little more of a dance floor drum and bass or breakbeat genre style to them, and that resonated a lot more with me personally. Signal just has this flow and drive to it that works really well as a bass heavy, gritty track. While I jokingly say that a lot of this stuff gives you tinnitus, there's songs like this that have that kind of same tonality to it, but are a lot more pleasing to listen to. I honestly just think it's the use of less really high frequency sounds. I noticed a very common theme with the songs that I enjoyed from this project, and it's that they were more bass driven or low volume tracks. They didn't have quite that dynamic range of the really, really high screechy sounds or synths to it, and I think having those removed was a big plus for me. Back to Me definitely has that gritty, dirty bass line that I was talking about just before, and I think it reminds me a lot of a Reaper track. And while I don't love Reaper and or this song in particular, it was something that was definitely better for me to listen to than a majority of this project. This song, though, would absolutely go insane in a club or festival, and honestly, I just want those to open up again so I can go listen to this kind of music there. These albums and songs I find really hard to review and kind of get a real accurate reading on because of my almost lack of engagement with the music. I will sit down and plug away and just listen to this album or stuff like it, but I can't help but feel like I need to turn it down or put it to the side, and it's not good for listening to just in the background, it's just so in your face and kind of takes up all of your attention. <sighs> you know, maybe this meta commentary on me writing this review for the album is really the heart and soul of the review itself. I think it ultimately comes down to the intangibles for me. It's harder for me to transform my thoughts into words for this project because I don't hate it, obviously. I don't love it either. It's this middle ground where I know there's a dedicated fan base of people that really like this, and Trampa in particular. I know that he's a lot better than other kind of rhythm dubstep producers on Never Say Die. Um, and so I understand that he's somewhat leagues above the rest of other people, but it's just this weird in-between where it's it's nowhere in particular, but it's just kind of right in the middle. Because even if I'm in the mood for a banger album, I wouldn't put this on. I would put on something like, uh, I don't know, Riot or Rez, something that feels a little more pleasing and has more atmospheric and or storytelling design to it. I think Riot and Rez are great examples and or comparisons to Trampa because they all kind of do that same similar in-your-face loud music, but both Rez and Riot have, like I said before, they create more of an atmosphere to their project and they make uh, the storytelling just go on and on. There's longer length of songs and 
uh, there's just a, a real point A to B and C and D and the track transforms over time where I don't feel that as much with Trampa. The one thing he does really well though is just shove noise in your face. Perfect for a festival or club. But in the end, Trampa's debut album Disrespect just really isn't for me. It's in this weird corner of EDM where I'm really not engaged with a ton, but I listen to on an odd occasion. It's something that I can recognize other people enjoy, but for the general public and for myself, I just can't really get into. So while this thing goes absolutely nuts, all 10 songs here, I'm just struggling to find the real artistic vision behind the purpose of this album. This album, again, is great for a festival or a club setting, but for a standard listen, I would just not bother. This isn't anything really overly new and or creative, and again, it doesn't necessarily need to be that, but I would have wished it had a little more or something. I can find hits of this album being pretty fun and or individual tracks that I can find enjoyable in certain settings. So it's ultimately for these reasons that Trampa's Disrespect album is going to score a five. But thank you guys so much for watching. I have been Bowtied Media. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Are you a Never Say Die huge fan and I am just crapping on everything that you like? I'd actually like to know that in the comment section below and just tell me why you actually like this project. What about these certain areas just really speaks to you and your listening habits? But all of that's to say, I've been Bowtied Media and I will see you guys in another video.